Welcome once again to keep on learning online class. And my name is teacher Emmanuel, a teacher of mathematics. Today we are going to run mathematics where we are basically going to talk about the different questions that can help a, a, a pupil of P6 to prepare for national exam. So today we are basically going to discuss about fraction. And I think from P4, P5 up to P6, you have studied fraction and now I want you to remind you things about uh, fraction where I have different questions relating to fraction and we are going to remind ourselves what we covered in the previous year let's start by this question number one work out and simplify work out and simplify so we have three questions a b c and those questions we are going to, to calculate, to find the differences and the sum. And then after, we are going to simplify. Let's start by question number one. One, five over six minus seven, sorry, minus two over seven is equal how many? And remember, we studied different types of fractions where we have seen proper fraction, improper fraction, and mixed fraction. And if you have, this is a mixed fraction. This is a mixed fraction. If you have, if you have a mixed fraction in your equation, you cannot add immediately, you cannot subtract immediately. You first take this, uh, this uh, mixed fraction and you turn it into improper fraction. Remember, when we want to change a mixed fraction into improper fraction, we take this number times this number plus this number. We take this number times this number plus this number. And the, the, the answer we get, we still have the same denominator. It means we take 1 times 6 equal to 6. 6 plus 5 equals to 11. 11 over 6 minus 2 over 7. So we are still working on this question. So if we are subtracting the fraction of different denominator, we first look for uh, lowest common multiple or the same denominator. How do we find the lowest common multiple when we are having the two? So we shall have, we have six uh, and seven. We are going to divide. So we put two, we have a three, we have seven, we have, we put also three, we have one, we have seven, we put seven and we have one. So LCM will be taking those numbers and multiply. So LCM will be equal to two times a three times, times a seven. If we take two times a three, we get six. Six times seven, we get 42. Meaning that 42 will be the denominator. 42 divided by six will be equal to seven. 7 times 11 equals to 7, 7 minus 42 divided by 7 equal to 6. 6 times 2 will be equal to 12. And when you take, you take 7, 7 minus 12, 7 minus 5, equal, sorry, 7 minus 2 equal to 5, 7 minus 1 equal to 6. So meaning that we have 65 over 42. And we are going to see whether this cannot be simplified. So there is, if the two number, we don't have a number that can simplify them, we are going to change or to turn it into improper fraction. The way sorry, into a mixed fraction. The way we find the mixed fraction is this. We take four, uh, 65 divided by 42, and I put one, 42, 
5 minus 2 equal to 3 and 6 minus 4 equals to 2. Meaning that we take, we write this number, this is 1, 23. We, we, we write the remainder here over quotient, which is 42. Meaning that the answer is 1, 42, 1, 23 over 42. Let's go to the next question. The next question, 3, 1, a quarter minus 2, 3 over 8. We shall also convert those mixed eight fraction into a proper fraction. 3, as you have said previously, we have said that if you want to turn mixed eight fraction into a proper fraction, you take this number times this, and what we get, we add to numerator, and but we write the same denominator. 3 times 4 equals 12. 12 plus 1 equals to 13 over 4. Minus 2 times 8 equal to 16. 16 plus 3 equals to 19. 19 over 8. And we are going to look for the, same, the common denominator. Common denominator, as you have said previously, we first look for what you call lowest common multiple. We have 8, we first try to factorize, and 4, we put 2. Here we have 4 divided by 2 equals to 2, 8 divided by 2 equals to 4. I put 2 again, 2 divided by 2 equals 1, 2 divided by 2 equals 2, and then we put 2. two Divide by 2 equals to 1. Then LCM, LCM will be equal to 2 power 3, which is equal to 8. Meaning that we are going to put 8 here. 8 divided by 4 equals to 2. 2 times 13 equals to 26. Minus 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. 1 times 19 equals to 19. And... We have 26 minus 19 is equal to 7. The answer is equal to 7 out of 8. And let's go to the final, to the last sub, sub question 1, which is C. We are also going to turn them into a uh, improper fraction. 3 times 7 equals to 21. 21 plus 5 equals to 26 equal to 26 of 7 plus 2 times 3 equals to 6 plus 2 equals to 8 over 3 and we are going to look for the same denominator the common denominator of the two because the two numbers do not have the same denominator so but the way we look for denominator we first look for LCM. We have a 7 and a 3. I put save 3, 7, I get 1, 3, 3, 1. Thus, LCM will be equal to 7 times 3, which is equal to 21. Meaning that the common denominator is 21. 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. 3 times uh, 26 equal to 78 plus 21 divided by this 3 is equal to 77 times 8 is equal to 56 so when you take 78 plus 56 7 plus 6 sorry 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 I write one I keep one uh, 7 plus 1 equals to 8, 8 plus 5 equals to 13, meaning that you have 13, 134 over 21. We are going to see if there is no number that can simplify the, that, those numbers. Let me check if um, 134 can be divided by, by 7, by 3, uh, 12, sorry. 4, sorry, 4, 12, it is impossible. Let's go to 7. Uh, I 
reports 1, 7, 64. 64. I put, uh, it is also impossible again. Let me put, uh, There is no any other. I think there is no any other number can divide or and now we are going to look for improper uh, so mixed fraction. The answer is 134 over 21. Over 21. Uh, converting them into a mixed fraction divided by 21. I put seven. Sorry, I put six. 6 times 1 equal to 6, 6 times 2 equals to 12, then we get this is 8 and this is 0, the answer will be equal to 6, uh, 8 over 21. Let's go to the next question, let's go to the next question.